Hello, I'm Loonjun and in today's video, I will be playing some more random dice for you guys. And today is the day that I actually do a bubble dice review for once. Now, I am sorry for bringing this video a lot late. Um, I really wanted to make this video. The thing is, I just don't have the dice on neither of my accounts. So I had to bring in some awesome people that was kind enough to help me record and basically show me how, show me how like the dice actually worked so let's just get straight into the video so for the test um aj rich from my discord server also my moderator special thanks to him um he has bubble dice unlocked and basically he will be helping me um get footage for this video and basically he will be playing solar lunar um with bubble i will be playing assassin just plain assassin and I'll try targeting his bubbled dice, bubbled dice, <laughs> and I'll try showing you how the bubble dice actually works. So on paper, it seems like it's very OP, but I am he I am hearing mixed opinions on it. Some people are saying it's the bro the most broken dice ever. Some people are saying it's not as effective as it says or as it seems. Mixed opinions. That's, you know, that's that's okay, I guess. I'm more closer to the OP side than actually being an underpowered side because the ability ability to block projectiles and stuff like that is huge in this game, especially in this game. I think that's why I would give it at least an 8 out of 10, I think. We'll see, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I wonder if Bubble stops my bounty from also going on to the dice. Oh, right, can I send Assassin now? I'll send, like, nope. some. Nope. Mm, they're not hitting it, though. Nope. Oh, no. Hit it. Nope. Hit the things. <laughs> Alright, so the first match was kind of a bummer, um, stuff didn't go well, so I decided to switch the deck once again. Um, AJ is going to play Solar Lunar Bubble with Shield, double block by the way, and I will be playing as Yang because, well, um, I just kind of want to give him time to build up. Well, this is something I just kind of thought about. Um, I think Bubble might not be like top tier in any deck, really. I think. Please. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Finally, first demonstration. Finally. So this is our last try. Um, if this doesn't work, I don't know what will. Um, I kind of want to try co-op as well. But I don't know. I don't really know. Um. So basically, I will bring As soon. I haven't played this deck in a long time. Um. I today was like the first day, and um. AJ is going to play uh Bubble Typhoon with Mimic and stuff because uh we want more bubbles. Of obviously we want more bubbles. So that's pretty much what we're going for. And we both have Prism. Bubble does work with Prism, which is the funny part um and which is one of the op points of the dice i do want to try try like one co-op game but the thing is about co-op if you think about it it's it's actually worse to have it's actually worse to have bubble in co-op because um for example your random teammate um decided to bring ass not not ass uh assassin support you basically can't do anything you can't merge bubble or else you would be not cooperating right you know so in co-op i think it'll be bad i think this is a pvp only dice let me just send assassin okay, that didn't work that also didn't work can i like hit the bubbles okay i definitely hit the bubbles so as you can see what just happened there um I had bounty on Typhoon. However, because Bubble was there, I did not get the bounty plus I didn't get I didn't get to lower his Typhoon, which if you think about it that's pretty strong, I think. For PVP at least, it's a, it's one of the best defensive dice I think that is, you know, 
that we have in this game mainly because uh it also gives crit don't forget about that it also gives crit like i think that's like an added bonus let me just yoink that see that was a one pip um i sent an assassin and that pretty much blocked it from disappearing from the game so yeah it's pretty cool okay there you go there's one oh i think um bubble just blocked because um the two pit bubble was supposed to be hacked but it got blocked by the bubble so that's pretty cool it works on bosses now we know that that too i didn't get the bounty plus um it didn't disappear again oh no no <laughs> <laughs> the ping just bamboozled me hard right there. Dang, he has a lot of... Oh, he has a lot. I don't... I don't have a... Assassin. Oh, no. Ah, and it targeted something. Okay, okay. At least it targeted that. So, I think I'll end up the video there. Thank you for watching. Um, if you liked the video, please like and subscribe for more content like this. <laughs> this was hard, okay? It this took me around an hour to get this kind of footage okay anyway here's my final review of the dice i think it's good for pvp i think it'll be bad for crew battle because bosses constantly come and distract you and whatnot um definitely not a co-op dice because it'll block assassin and ix remember it might block some royal trollers that sometimes you meet in random games but like other than that this is just the pvp dice i think we got two pvp dice and bad dice in general this update i think it's fine they are leaning more towards on pvp changes than co-op i think co-op is like okay at where it is right now anyway that's my final review oh yeah my rating i think i'll rate this dice a 7 out of 10. I thought it'll be more better. I think it'll... I thought when my first impression will, was like, this dice will change the game. Not really. I don't think it will, to be honest. First of all, it's not like SP and stuff like that. So, well, those were my final words. I think I'll end off the video and peace out, guys.